I believe relationship analytics can be used in four different ways to add value to CRM. First of all, if you understand the connections of a customer within a company, outside of a company, you can use it for warm introductions. And data shows that warm introductions have five times the success rate in being able to um, lead to uh, future engagement than cold calling. Uh, relationship analytics, if you understand the relationships and connections within an account, also lead to better customer understanding. In a complex sales scenario, um, it's a team of sellers that's selling to a team of buyers. And there's a lot of conversations that mm -hmm. are happening, and these conversations are not recorded in the CRM. So relationship analytics helps surface the frequency of these conversations, where these conversations are happening so that a salesperson isn't blindsided, for example, in a meeting. Um, relationship analytics can also help you understand customer health. For example, if there's a steady cadence of communication between a company and a customer, and this um, frequency of communications drops, or suddenly increases, it may serve as an early warning signal that there is an issue with this account. Mm. And it's a great way to intervene and perhaps nurture an account back to health. And the fourth scenario where I see relationship analytics really helping out is um, for sales handover. Salespeople leave and churn uh, pretty regularly. And when they leave the company, they take their book of business with them. And if you have captured the conversations that the salesperson is having with all his prospects, all his accounts, you can take that book of business and hand it over to a new salesperson and get them onboarded pretty quickly without losing the cadence of interactions with your prospects and with your customers.